The ability to fly by echolocation is only one of the legendary achievements of bats that Nikolai is trying to understand. Future traffic organization has more in common with bats than one might think. When hundreds of thousands of bats fly in complete darkness, they rely on their sensors to avoid collision. Understanding just how they do it may solve other problems we face. Recently, there are certain uh, challenges with traffic organization that can benefit from some of the work that we have done with bat groups. And more and more, it's important to be able to maintain a certain set distance from the vehicle in front of you or around you or behind you. And there are uh, prototype um, applications where the driver doesn't even steer. It's all maintained by sensors built into the, into the vehicle. At Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico, bats fly underground for half a mile before they have to rise through a steep opening to reach the open skies. It's an ideal place to study how bats fly by their sensors. Nick's long-held dream has been to observe how individuals navigate this tunnel with hundreds of thousands of fellow bats at the same time, in complete darkness. The problem has been that when you shine a light or bring some sorts of light and shine it at the bats, what you see is the response of the colony and the individuals to that light, not what their natural behavior is. We wanted to go around to that and come up with a way of recording their behavior in a way that doesn't disturb them, as well as showing us what their natural behavior is. Thanks to modern technology, they found a way to do so. Thermal imaging shows how the bats fly underground. Like a swarm, they orient themselves with one another by echolocation, and even fly on the right side of the tunnel. Nick and Louise can also observe that bats monitor the density of the traffic below them before they let go of the ceiling. Once they're outside the cave, they form a vortex that allows them to gain height in the most efficient way. The vortex has another advantage for the bats. It allows them to scan the sky for predators outside the cave. Although bats may rule the night sky before the sun is completely set, they're not the only ones who are out to make prey. A red-tailed hawk has specialized on the dawn hunt. 